all of this incredible job that we've done will go down like that. It will be a terrible, terrible sight. It might even be a 1929 situation, so you have a chance to have the greatest numbers in history. You're almost there. We're almost back to where we were from the standpoint of the stock market. Think of that. Uh, but you'll have a crash like you've never seen before. You put the wrong person in office, you'll see things that you would not have believed are possible. That was former President Donald Trump boasting that America's economy was roaring back like never seen before in September of 2020. Now, this clip of 45 was recently posted as if it's proof that Trump was predicting that someone, like Biden, will blow up our economy. And Trump was right, just not in the ways he may think. I'll get back to this in a little while. However, since Don Jr. said, I don't remember banks collapsing under Trump, but don't worry guys, it's only a matter of time till Biden slash media blames him for that too. I want to focus on that for a bit. Because this tweet from Donald Trump Jr. says a lot more than what he typed out, but he tried to give himself plausible deniability by starting it with, I don't remember, which opened himself up to people wondering what caused his memory issues. Anyways, by the time Jr. hit send on his tweet, the internet was already playing the blame game and posting reminders as to why Silicon Valley Bank collapsed in the first place. Great plan, but I want to have your input on the plan in particular and to do what we have to do in terms of regulation. We have some of the bankers here. There's nobody better to tell me about Dodd-Frank than Jamie, so you're gonna tell me about it, but we expect to be cutting a lot out of Dodd-Frank because frankly, I have so many people, friends of mine, that have nice businesses, they can't borrow money, they just can't get any money because the banks uh, just won't let them borrow because of the rules and regulations and Dodd-Frank, so we'll be talking about that, Jamie, in terms of the banking industry. I guess Donnie could have asked his dad's friends. There really is a Trump tweet or quote for everything. Even with that, there were actually 16 bank failures between 2017 and 2020, which took place during President Donald Trump's administration, Donnie's father. SVB is the first bank to collapse since Biden took office. And the comment section pointed out that the Democrats had all three branches, yet did nothing to prevent the collapse. And the 16 banks that did collapse under Trump were much smaller than SVB, instead of questioning why Trump did what he did in the first place. Well, according to David Serrata in Lever News, 50 Republican senators and 17 Democratic senators voted to ignore warnings and weaken risk regulations for Silicon Valley Bank. And here they are. Donald Trump signed the bill into law, and now the bank is the second biggest bank collapse in American history. As for the high interest rates and record inflation caused by out of control spending, well look, I'm not an expert, but I know that inflation is a problem all around the world and how much of it in the US can be due to the commander in chief, who has little to do with money anyways. Besides, President Biden may have had to help the economy recover after 45 didn't take the threat of COVID seriously. And didn't Trump pass out COVID checks to the country? With all of that said, the legislation I'm signing today rolls back the crippling Dodd-Frank regulations that are crushing community banks and credit unions nationwide. They were in such trouble. So Trump was right. You put the wrong person in office and you'll see things you never thought were possible. He was talking about himself. Y'all want to see a MAGA actor get checked over Aunt Jemima's history? Then click the link in the description below for that video. For more of my content, you can find me on my YouTube channel called We Gonna Be Alright, or just use the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. Thanks for watching. And so I don't forget, my architect knows Japanese.